all from Obese. How you guys doing? Uh, so I got an opportunity to do digging with strangers. Uh, shout out to my homeboy Fat Track. He goes to a record store, to a thrift store. He asks somebody in the record store or or the thrift store, would they pick out three records? And he will send them uh, to the producers. Anyone, anyone you see, that. Just yeah, what you got? <laughs> you got Pinocchio. That's what's up. Yo, Marv, man, you about to have a work cut out for uh, this one right here, bro. Oh, man, bro, William, man. Yo, thank you for digging, bro. Appreciate yeah, you, you, man. Right on. Marv from Old Beats. They're coming your way, bro. I wanted to go back and fool with something fool with another record that he sent because when i posted it on my channel on my instagram and on my TikTok, some people was like yo man you could have got something out of this album but i didn't i decided that i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna try it so uh when he sent me the joints he sent me all classical joints so let me show you the joints he sent me so he sent me this here it's called music for the classic guitar it's some box stuff he sent me that. Uh, he sent me this Johann Sebastian joint, uh, which is the beat. I found something off of this record and actually chopped it up and made a beat out of it. Uh, this joint here, this, this mug got about three, four records in it too. And then he sent me this joint here, which uh, was just whack, right? Uh, so I got something off of this one and made a beat out of, beat out of it, but when I played this one, some people was like, yo, man, they had some gems on there. So for those that said that they had some gems on it, I'm going back to it. And I'm going to try to see what I can come up with. All right. So uh, I got my turntable out over here. And I got the record on there. So I'm going to just see what we can find. I got enough. Let me see what I got here. All right, so now I'm gonna get into editing. And of course, for those that know me, y'all know I use Beatmaker 3 as my sample in my digital workstation. Uh, I got the, the Beatmaker 3 and I'm triggering the MPC Studio. And I have my uh, trusty old complete uh, 27 key by Native Instruments. And all this is midi up into Beatmaker 3. All right, so let me get into my chops real quick and see what we got going on. Let me just do some trimming. some horns up in there. Let me see what these horns.
right, all right, all right. I think I'm going to add two more instruments, and that's going to be it. That John got a nice little bop to it there. Woo! Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to add in this. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right. All right. This is what I pulled off. Music for classical guitar. I was able to pull a get uh pull them pull that sample out of there and chop it up. Like I said, man, I just wanted to go back and try that second uh record, the first record. Uh, that that some of the some of you guys were saying that I could have pulled it off. I went back to it and was able to pull it off. But you be the judge. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Either way, it's all love, man. If you need drum, if you need beats for my artists, if you need beats or if my producer, if you need drum kits or samples, go to my website www.morphomobeats.com. The link will be in the description. All right, it's your boy Marfamo Beats, grace and peace.